What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Anthony Joshua, Francis Ngannou. Get this. Francis Ngannou's coach responds to the controversial Anthony Joshua claims ahead of the heavyweight fight. Francis Ngannou has ignited the mind games with Anthony Joshua. The former UFC heavyweight champion has made the first move in mind games ahead of the meeting with the two world heavyweight or with the two time world heavyweight champion, Anthony Joshua. And this is what he had to say. He said, uh, this has not been deterred from Ngannou from attempting to unnerve Joshua with Cameroonian claiming that the former Olympian has no chin. Okay. And speaking exclusively on the zone Ngannou's coach, president and team combat Dewey Cooper clarify the comments made by his fighter. He said, the bottom line is when you bring pressure and imposing style to break your opponent down, like Anthony's Joshua's going on the front foot against Otto Wileen, there is a level of trepidation, a level of danger when you are fighting a guy who has knockout power, especially against a guy who has one punch knockout power like Francis does. Cooper said, me as a coach, I don't discount Joshua's chin. He's an Olympic gold medalist, a two-time heavyweight champion, world champion. I know his pedigree. I know his talent. But when you are Francis Ngono, when you are registered as the hardest puncher in the world, you feel that way above everyone you come up against. That's a great way to feel going into a fight. Those are the words of Mr. Dewey Cooper. And let me counterpunch. Um, he's basically saying that the way Anthony Joshua fights, he's prone to taste the power of Francis Ngannou. And Francis Ngannou, being as hard as he punches, it won't be good for Joshua. That's it. He says he's going to get knocked out, basically, in a nutshell. Right? He just did it sophisticatedly. Right? But that's all he's saying. All I'm saying is we'll see. We will see if that happens or not. We will see if uh, Francis can land the shot to take out Anthony Joshua. And here's the thing. Just speaking of which, if, jo if Joshua goes down to the hands of Ngono, it is risky. Why? Because the first thing somebody going to say is Tyson Fury didn't. <laughs> Tyson Fury got dropped, but Tyson Fury got up. You know what I mean? So if he does lose in the hands of Francis Ongono on the because of knockout power, it won't be good for him. It won't be good for his stock that just risen. Because his stock would just hit rock bottom if he loses to Francis Ongono. Okay, the only thing that's saving Tyson Fury is the anticipation of him getting some of those stripes back that he lost against Francis Ngannou in the first place. Okay, on top of the Alexander Usyk difficult negotiations coming through, right? But I'll say this about Francis. If Francis takes out Joshua, Tyson, Joshua, then it next in line, Deontay Wilder, do you understand that a man has came from another platform and has been able to land within a year's time. Because you know that shit's going to... Like, if he knocks out... If he knocks out Anthony Joshua, okay? And Tyson Fury beats Alexander Usyk. Tyson Fury will relinquish every belt. He wouldn't care about that or not. He wouldn't care about the rematch clause. You think he cares about rematch clauses? Uh, how he did Vladimir Klitschko? No, he doesn't care. He'll take a vacation, do some coke, slam some chicks, hang out, get drunk, kick some taxi cabs, right? Hang around with his family, right? Retire, then he'll come back, then he'll fight uh, Francis Ngono, maybe. Or Francis Ngono will then fight Deontay Wilder. And Deontay Wilder's going to do it because if he is coming, and if Lennox Lewis is right and he is coming for a cash grab, you know he's going to come for another cash grab against another man that they call himself also the baddest man on the planet. So you got the baddest man on the planet versus the baddest man on the planet, and they're going to collide too. And in two years' time, in 2023 and 2024, Francis Ngannou has fought all three of the top guys, which takes took them years to do. And they still haven't done. 
counterpunch. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Team and Ngannou throwing the mind games at Anthony Joshua, daring him not to come forward like he did with Otto Vailene. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Hey.